Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to the Soap Thing Project and thank you for joining me today. The sample I have for you on this episode of the Soap Thing Project, I'm gonna try House of Mammoth for the first time. Here we have Indigo. I've seen it called Mood Indigo on a couple of other vendor websites, but either way, here it is. Let's talk about the high quality ingredients you get in a House of Mammoth soap. This is the Tusk soap base, by the way. High quality ingredients. It's got duck fat, beef tallow, glycerin, blah, Let's run through that again. Babasu oil, argan oil, marumaru butter, and lanolin. Oh, I butchered that one, didn't I? <laughs> okay. Uh, what do we got here? $5 for a sample. They don't say how much is in it, but suffice it to say it's not a lot. It is a kind of a high-end soap base, so you're paying $5 for what is a small amount of soap, all things considered, but at least they give you the option. So that is House of Mammoth Indigo in a nutshell. We'll talk about the scent more during the shave. For the aftershave, we're going to switch gears, give the Clubman Musk a break, and we're just going to use good old Pro Razo White for a few shaves. This stuff is absolutely good to go. This is the uh, green tea and oat scent for sensitive skin. So we're gonna make this the standby aftershave for all sample videos for the near future. It's a great aftershave balm. For the razor, Rockwell 6S. I'm gonna use this for a while. I've been getting kind of some rough shaves lately with a lot of my other razors. It's probably user error, but I think it's time to mix it up a little bit. This comes with three plates that you can flip them over and use different uh, levels of aggressiveness and blade exposure. So I suppose you could say it's adjustable. This is metal injection molded 316 stainless steel and right now it has plate number four on it. That seems to be the sweet spot for me. So Rockwell 6S. And let's shake up the blade bag. Maxpedition blade bag right here. Let's shake it up. Shake it up and pick a blade. We do this in every sample video. What do I have today? And it's wrapped in uh, white paper, so let's see what's in it. I have a feeling this is a Gillette Platinum. Well, I lucked out on that one. Gillette Platinums are absolutely good to go. So that's going to be the blade. And the brush is my QED Select 4324 Manchurian Silver Tip 24 millimeter Badger. Great brush. These are not too expensive as far as badger brushes go, and making a lather with these is super duper easy. So if you don't have one of these, I think you're missing out just a little bit. Okay, let's do a shave.
I've got a mangy kind of three and a half, almost four days of growth. So definitely enough growth to test out a new soap artisan. Let's take the House of Mammoth Indigo out of the Hendrix Classics and Company stainless steel bowl. And let's put it on. Actually, I gotta wet the face first. I'm off to a rough start. I'm running on like two hours of sleep last night, so uh, yeah, I'm tired. Let's put it on. Here we go. I'm feeling I'm gonna need a little extra water. Sense strength on this, by the way, is a very impressive four out of five, almost five out of five, to be honest. Touch more water. There we go. There we go. Okay, now Rockwell 6S with a Gillette Platinum. I'm feeling pretty good about where this shave is gonna go. Knock on wood, somewhere. Knock on wood back there. Okay, Rockwell 6S on plate number four, Gillette Platinum. Here we go. And slicing through three days of growth with uh, no issues at all. I'm not sure why I'd be surprised. Yeah, this is wonderful. Okay. Interesting side note about House of Mammoth. They, they don't actually make their own soap. Uh, they are white labeled by Chicago Grooming. Now, they uh, develop their soap base and they develop all the scents, but Chicago Grooming is like their factory floor. I'm not letting some cat out of the bag. This is uh, public knowledge. But for those of you who don't know, I found that pretty interesting. It didn't used to be that way. I think it's only been that way since the Tusk soap base got introduced. When you have your finger in the punch bowl, you tend to learn a lot of uh, tidbit information. Oh, I'm gonna lean in a little bit. I'm trying to see where my mustache breaks. Okay, a good first pass. Uh, let's talk about the scent of House of Mammoth Indigo. Scent notes, we got black pepper, blueberry, rum, vetiver, oud, and night sky. I'm not sure how you'd quantify night sky in terms of scent. That's kind of an interesting note, but I get, I get it. It kind of sets the mood. So... This is pretty blueberry heavy, which uh, was always how it was going to be. Uh, whenever you put dark fruits or red fruits in a soap, they're just going to take over the place. That's just how it goes. Uh, now, having said that, there is a fair bit of nuance to this. Uh, I get a little bit of rum, a little bit of tiny bit of oud. Um, Vetiver, yeah, probably. Uh, surprisingly, even though black pepper is a top note, I'm not getting black pepper hardly at all. 
I think it's it's practically invisible, to be honest with you. Oh, what do we have here? Let's get that off of there. Okay. But yeah, for some reason, black pepper for me, I mean, uh, let me really sit here and uh, think about it and be objective about it. Uh, maybe? It could be power of suggestion, though. The fact that I know it's there or that it's supposed to be there is making me pick it up. But for all practical purposes, I think the black pepper, at least for me, is bordering on being invisible. It's good, though. It's a good scent. It's definitely a high-quality smelling scent. You can tell they put some some thought into this. Uh, let's talk about slickness. Uh, primary and residual slickness is pretty impressive. I think I can get away with a lot in terms of uh, less than ideal shaving habits. And the soap will help you be forgiven, so to speak. And I'm hoping I can keep it that way for the rest of the shave. It's one of those one of those things where I'm going to talk about it being a great soap base and having good slickness and then hack something open. <laughs> I think it might still be slightly underhydrated. Because I'm noticing that uh, the uh, residual slickness is starting to dissipate a little bit, but I'm not going to blame that on the soap. I'm going to use it a, uh, oh, what the heck, that's just, I got to do the neck again. I'm not going to blame that on the soap. I want to keep using it, so I'm going to reserve judgment for a while. I think it's probably me because I tend to under under hydrate my soaps because I like a thicker pastier lather and that works for a lot of soaps but it doesn't work for all of them some of them really need that water okay that's enough let's quit while I'm ahead I don't think so. Might be an ingrown hair. Uh, if I let my hair grow more than two days, which doesn't happen very often, I'll tend to get some ingrown hair breakouts. Uh, why? I have no idea. It's just my skin type. But uh, let's do the Shave Nation alum block. And this one is the broken one. I don't know if you can see that, the one that I dropped right after I opened it. But I think we should be able to still get a lot of use out of it. And I got no stinging anywhere on the face, so that's a good sign. But I still think I underhydrated it slightly. I think uh, that was my fault. Let's do the aftershave. Okay, let's do Prorazzo White. Aftershave balm. 
here we go. Ooh, a little bit more of it than I wanted. <laughs> Oh, that feels good. Smells good. If you have a rough shave, this stuff is almost unbeatable. Wow. Okay. Now, my final thoughts on House of Mammoth Indigo. Is this a product that is soap thing approved? Uh, yes it is. Now, what would I relegate this to? Probably late summer, early fall. It's a, it's a darker scent. It's got this dark blueberry oud rum sort of thing going on. Interesting. I actually get more of the black pepper off of the sample than I do once lathered. So the scent does evolve and it diffuses like crazy. Like when I put it in the bowl and start lathering it, the scent just blew up. So, definitely impressive stuff. Now, is it good enough for me to buy this particular scent and have it shipped all the way out here to Turkey? Probably not. Uh, I do have a bunch of their samples, and there are a couple that I'm seriously considering just buying the full-size set, but this one, it's good, but it's not good enough for me to buy it and have it shipped all the way out here. I definitely might pick it up when I get back to the States. Because, like I said, anything I buy while I'm here, I have to ship back to the, the, to the States and in the next eight, nine months, and uh, I'm not trying to cause issues with myself for uh, having to deal with all that mess. But it's good though. Uh, House of Mammoth is definitely good to go, and this scent, in my opinion, is good to go. You'd be well served with this soap and this scent. It is worth noting that House of Mammoth takes a lot of pride in the fact that they donate a portion of their sales to combating human trafficking. So that is kind of the uh, the flag they stake into the ground. That's what they that's what they support, and it's definitely obviously that's a great uh, great cause to uh, to invest money into. So do keep that in mind that uh, part of the proceeds of uh, of every sale of their soaps goes to ending human trafficking. Okay, that is House of Mammoth Indigo. That'll be the video for today. I want to thank everybody for watching, and until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.